Now imagine an application which is absolutely free, which works perfectly fine on your Fire Stick or Nvidia Shield or really any Android device. It has one of the largest, and I really do mean largest library of free content, including massive hits like Jurassic Park, like Matrix and so on and so forth. It doesn't need any kind of mouse toggle. It doesn't need any kind of credit card to register. All of this content is absolutely free. Well. In this video today guys let me introduce to you the brand new application called peacock tv and this application only came out today and when i say today i literally do mean the 15th of july 2020 so do take a moment to hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button so with all of that being said let's get started if you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials the latest fire stick android and android tv tips and tricks then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell it's a small click from you but it makes a big difference to me thank you now in case you're wondering hey tech doctor how do you seem to find all of these brand new amazing applications well i have to say i cannot take any credit for this one of my followers on twitter a guy called dino he was one actually sent me a message about this so many thanks to him for letting me know okay so to install this application onto your fire stick or really any android device just go over to your settings go into developer options and make sure you have the option to install from unknown sources enabled once you confirm that just press the home key and we're now going to open up downloader now if you are following this on nvidia shield and you get an error that you cannot browse or download things from downloader i will leave a link in the video description on how you can fix that issue but on the fire stick let's just navigate to bit dot ly forward slash tduk that's me and the number is 2019 let's type that in and click on go or just press the play button on your remote now this will take you straight to my website and in the tutorial section i have created a dedicated tutorial on this process on how you can get the peacock tv application onto your android device now to get to the tutorials if you go over to the hamburger menu just click here and select tutorials. Now, if for whatever reason you don't see the latest tutorial in the list, all you need to do is press the context key, which is one of the three lines, and just select the option to disable JavaScript and reload page. Let's click on that. And that will then force the page to reload. Once it's loaded, let's press the same button again and select the option enable JavaScript to reload page. And this is just to make sure that we do leave JavaScript enabled when we're accessing these websites. Okay, let's now open up the latest tutorial. And here we can just see that this is the Peacock TV application, a brand new application, which has literally just come out today. I mean, it is designed for the US audience, but in my example, as I'm in the UK, I will be accessing this via VPN. And here we can just see guys, it's got tons of on-demand content, and the free tier has over 13,000 hours of content. So that should keep you busy for a while. Let's scroll down and here is the application that we need. So let's click on that. Give that a second and let's scroll down and click on the green download button. Now, as I mentioned at the start of this video, this application doesn't need any kind of credit card to register. The only thing you do need to do is register with the email address and password, and I will show you that in just a second. Okay, let's click on install. That's now all done. We can click on done. Let's press the home key. And let's now start up the application. Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I am doing a special promotion for the first 50 members, whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. Now, when you start this application for the first time, this is what you'll see. So we can see it's asking you to sign up to start watching. Let's click on that. And now we can register by adding in an email address and password. So we have two ways of registering. So either you can go ahead here and just type in your email address, wherever the email address is, and then go to create a password and do that. If you don't want to type on the Fire Stick or whichever device you're doing it on, you can go down here and select the option to activate on your phone. And that's the way I registered it. So when you click on that, 
This then gives you a special link and a special code that you can then go onto your browser, on your cell phone or on your computer, type in that web link, enter in that code, and that will then allow you to register from there. So I did find that to be a little bit easier. And if you don't really want to type on your device, that's the way I recommend you do that. So let me now complete the registration. Okay, so once you're logged in, this is what you'll see. So the first option here we have is channels. And I was just blown away with the quality of the content in here, guys. I mean, I have to make sure I don't actually let anything start playing, but uh, if you just try one of these for a second. I mean, the amount of stuff they got here in the free channels is just phenomenal, guys. Um, I'll try and keep this muted, but just so you can see, this is all live content that you can access pretty much just with one click. Just so many things in here. Uh, let's try this one for a second. And that's working absolutely fine because these are proper premium services. So you're not gonna have any kind of issue with buffering or lag or anything like that because these services actually have the capacity to, you know, handle all of the users that are trying to access the service. Okay, let's back out of that. So that's basically the channel section. Let's go back to home. Then we have the trending section. And here we can see some of the popular content on this application. Lots of stuff in here. Then the browse section is kind of like the home screen. So here we can see uh, some content at the top here. You've got your featured channels. you got some uh, special picks from Peacock. Uh, you got some featured films. And this is what I was talking about. If you look at some of the content in here, guys, it's uh, they've got some really good stuff. Uh, for example, uh, Matrix, great film. Let's click on that. Click on watch now. Give that a second. And there we get the message that this movie is free because it is ad supported. And we see that's working straight away. And that really is a fantastic film. Gets back out of that. That's working great. Uh, you've got some other original content over here. Uh, you've got some comedy section, drama. And I'm just whizzing through this just so I can show you, but there is just so much content in here. Okay, we got some big screen hits. Then you got 100 plus hours free of these uh, TV series, I guess. Like Suits, like uh, Psych. You got some classics, Saved by the Bell, Hidden Gems. Just, <laughs> I mean, there's just a lot of content in here, guys, and it's all absolutely free. Yes, it is ad supported, but watching an ad for, you know, 20 or 30 seconds to get all of this great content, I, I think that's a fair price to pay. Here we got the Bourne Ultimatum or the Bourne series. You got the mummy, some great stuff in there. Let's go back to the top. Then you got dedicated section for TV shows. Lots and lots of stuff in here. I'm sure you guys will recognize this content. Uh, you got Battlestar there. Uh, you got Paranormal and so on and so forth. You got some classic stuff here. I like Sea Quest, that was great. Uh, some thrillers, Crime and Punishment and so on and so forth. Let's go back to the top. Then you've got a dedicated section for movies. You've got kids. You've got a news section. And you've got sport. And you also have a dedicated section for Latino content. And that's all working great. Now you can also search for content over here. So if you go to the left, click on search. Let's say for example, we're searching for uh, Saved by the Bell. And there we have it. So I can now click on, uh, I can now click on this, click on play. And within a couple of seconds, are we going to see Zach? Who's the other guy? Okay, well, let's see if we can see Zach on the screen. And that's working absolutely fine. And what a great show. Okay, let's back out of that. Now, when you click on something here, we get to see a great summary of the content. We get to see what the rating is on Rotten Tomatoes and also IMDb. Uh, we get to see the length of the movie. And we can also add it to a watch list if you want to do that. Alternative, you can just click on play. And just like that, we are now watching this amazing movie absolutely free on our 4K Fire Stick through Peacock TV on the Tech Doctor UK channel. So do give a thumbs up for that. Okay, let's back out of that. And there we can just see guys, just pages and pages of content absolutely free so that's all for this video guys many thanks for watching i did want to get this video out as quick as possible because i know lots of you are always looking for great free streaming content so i do hope you like this one let me know and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon thanks